Self-discovery, as far as I'm concerned, is a major life goal for every individual. And when it comes to using your hands to do that, our bodies are all we get in this life, and the most potent tools uh, of, that, of those bodies is our hands. Anytime you put some new thing in our hands, that raises that same kind of issue. This is new, what does it mean? What could it mean to me? So any kind of manipulation is powerful. You can turn things around in your hand and, and inductively learn from them. Uh, I prefer actually uh, not manipulating but creating the object because when you do that, you own it. You've authored it and you own it. Every competency that we have is our anatomy. Our whole lives are lived through its experience as it dances us through the, our lifetime. To discover as early as possible the, the competency in our bodies that we have in the patterns of functional uh, anatomy is fantastic. That means that as young as possible, children can benefit the rest of their lives from the self-confidence they get and the realization of their competence. Historically, anatomy has been a discipline that's hard to reach for a lot of students. It uses learning methods that are not easy for the majority of students with different learning styles. It's a lot of memorization, and with the right and different way to study anatomy, students can become more engaged and really love the science of it. Students interested in the medical field aren't the only students in that want to be involved in learning anatomy. Anatomy is a great subject and discipline with the STEM initiative in the United States. Anatomy is a great place for students to start. They learn biomechanics and they learn from the inside out how their body works in relation to other animals as well. 40 years ago, I was a painter and sculptor teaching at Parsons School of Design. I created a model uh, on which I expected to demonstrate muscles and clay for my students. I was staggered at how I was learning in the building, and my students were learning, but I was learning in great leaps and bounds. I gained personal self-confidence like crazy because I discovered patterns in myself that I had no idea I possessed. So I turned my art toward making a learning system that other people could benefit from in the same respect. The anatomy and clay learning system is a system through which I sculpt skeletal models, and on that art, the students build models of whatever they wish to see anatomically, muscles, nerves, blood vessels, gut, whatever you wish. In the period of those nearly 40 years, we are now in over 10,000 classrooms and counting, from middle school through medical school, the system has been studied by over 15 major universities and medical schools. They all find that this approach works better than traditional approaches to anatomy and that the retention is really apparently endless. When students are building in three dimension with their own hands in clay, they're forming conceptual concepts of the material. They're absorbing it, they're remembering it, so if they build it, they know it, they remember it, and it sticks. What I've noticed with the students when they started using the anatomy and clay learning systems was that they were truly understanding how the anatomy all relates to other parts of the body. And they were starting to build on these models and seeing that all of our body systems are related. Where before that, they learned the anatomy of the human body as segmented parts, and they never really put all of those parts together. And they really didn't understand that the structure of the body is also related to the function. When they actually had to build on the model, they saw that their body truly has a function and it's based on how things are made and how things are put together. I would say for the students, the benefits is that it's hands-on learning all the time. The true thing that I see as a teacher is they remember things long-term. It's not just memorization for a test. It's, it's long-term where they see how it all fits together. With the anatomy and clay, it's a one-time purchase that I can use from year to year to year. Um, prior to that, we were buying coloring books or we were making copies, and we were having to incur that cost every single year with the models. We put them up, we use them throughout the year, they take them apart, and then we can use them the next year. So definitely for me, aside from the fact that it's so engaging to the students, it's very cost-effective for our department. 
So I would absolutely recommend it to anybody looking to find a way to engage their students in hands-on learning. Since 1980, our tagline for the Anatomy and Clay Learning System has been that the mind cannot forget what the hands have learned. I want the benefits of this system, confidence and the pleasure taken in learning it in this manner, to be available to everyone worldwide. And I would like it even for people who are not taking classes in public libraries to be able to access this opportunity. I think that anatomy should be absolutely primary understanding for human beings everywhere in the world.